Hello everyone, this is Suhaib al Amari, and today I'm going to be talking about the template design method. So to make the method really simple, I'm going to start with an example that talks about a car factory example. As you all know, for any car to be made, it has to go through a couple of stages in the factory. For example, welding the chassis and then painting the bodies after that we have to install the interiors and at the end we have to install the engines as I said earlier all the cars around the world they have to go through through these stages stage by stage so our difference comes in when we have for example one engine is bigger than another engine in another car so this difference is going to reflect in our implementation and that's where the template design pattern comes in and that's the whole idea of it so we have something general and then inside this general thing we have a different a slight difference in the implementation so as a real example i decided to choose the car company honda and as you all know honda makes a lot of cars and for this example, I decided to choose two cars, Honda CRV and Honda Civic. So the main company, Honda, when it makes any car, as I said before, it has to go through four stages. The first stage is welding the chassis and then painting the body. After that, installing the interior and ending with installing the engine. But we have two methods that might be implemented differently from the two cars. These methods are installing the engine and painting the body. Because painting the body, for example, can change from color to color because one customer wants the car in one color and then another customer wants the car in a different color. And the same thing goes for the engine. The Honda Civic has a smaller engine than the Honda CRV, so they can have a different implementation in these cars. So, because the two methods installing the engine and painting the body are gonna be handled differently between the two cars Honda Civic and Honda CRV. we decided to make these two methods abstract and Honda itself it's gonna be abstract because it's gonna be implemented by the two cars so the idea is really simple you got the main class Honda and it has some methods and some of these methods are gonna be handled differently with the classes that implement them and basically that's the whole idea of the template pattern so now we're gonna move on to the implementation so just how we explained on the class diagram we're gonna have three classes the first class is Honda and it's the main class and it's the class that gets extended by the two other classes Honda Civic and Honda CRV so as we said too, we said the class is going to be abstract so it can be extended by the other classes CRV and Civic and the four methods get implemented in here we have weld, paint, interior and engine and as we said paint and engine are going to be abstract because the way they're implemented is different between the two other cars So for the class CRV that extends Honda, we implemented the method engine and paint and for the engine we gave it a 2.5 engine and a black paint. So now we move to the class Honda Civic and as you can notice the difference between the Civic and the CRV is that the engine is a 1.8 liters engine and it has a blue paint not a black paint like the CRV. So now let's make a quick run and see if the program works. We have a CRV and we have the CRV.paint.engine.weld and the same thing for the Civic. Let's hit run. And we have... So as you can see we have the same methods but with different outputs and that's the template design method. Thank you.